Hi friends, my name is Miss Fletcher and I'm your art teacher. Welcome to my classroom where everyone is an artist and it's impossible to make a mistake. Today we're going to go ahead and look at lines. What are lines? Hmm, let's see what artists do with them. So artists create all different kinds of lines. Look at all of these lines. A line is a point moving in space. So if this was a red crayon, if that was my point, as I moved it this way, I would make a line. And whichever way I went, I would make that line with my point. Did you know that lines have names just like people? It's true. This kind of line is called a wavy line. This one is dotted, dot, 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 dot. Here we have a zigzag line, zigzag, zigzag, dash, dash, dash. It's a dashed line. Each one of these lines has a name. Can you believe it? There are so many different kinds of lines. I thought today, since there are so many, it might be good to start off with just a few, okay? So let me show you a couple. And I wrote a little song to make it easier. So my song goes like this. It's called Lines. Lines, lines, they're all around, all around, all around. Lines, lines, they're all around. Can you find them? Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, spiral, zigzag. Oh, did you see that? Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, spiral, zigzag. I think we should practice that together, okay? So here we go, sing it with me. Lines, lines, they're all around, all around, all around. Lines, lines, they're all around. Can you find them? Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, spiral zigzag. Try that with me. Vertical, horizontal, diagonal, curved, spiral, zigzag. I hope you like the song. You can practice it with your teacher. Bye-bye. Owls in art. Look at this owl. Isn't it beautiful? Humans have been creating owl art for thousands of years. The oldest ones are found on rock walls like this one. When we carve into rock, it's called a petroglyph. Can you find the owl in this petroglyph? What else do you see? Owls are very special. They are nocturnal. That means they sleep during the day and are awake at night. This painting was created by Japanese artist Ohara Hosong. Is that the sun or the moon? How do you know? Owls have strong talons or claws, which make it easy to hunt. The artist in this drawing is repeating lines and shapes. What kind of lines can you find? What kind of shapes can you find? This drawing was created by Alina Stromberg. She is an art teacher from Finland.
Owls like to eat insects, small animals, birds, and fish. This wood carving was created by Mexican artist Luis Sosa. He is from Oaxaca. When an artist repeats something over and over, it's called repetition. What is this artist repeating? Owls have special feathers that make them silent when they fly. This makes them good hunters. This owl was painted by the First Nations Aboriginal artist, Cheryl Davidson. In Aboriginal culture, the owl is seen as a protector and messenger. What kind of lines and shapes is the artist repeating in this painting? There are around 200 different kinds of owls. This painting is of a European eagle owl. This owl was painted on the side of a building. When an artist paints on the building, it's called a mural. The top picture is what it looked like before. So this is what this building looked like. When the artist was finished, it looked like this. Wow, what a giant transformation. Uh, it's so beautiful. The artist D.W. painted it in Athens, Greece. It's called Knowledge Speaks, Wisdom Listens. How do you think it changed the neighborhood? Owls have very good vision. It allows them to see in the dark. This street mural is called Owl Eyes. It was created by Portuguese street artist, Arturo Bordalo. What is this art piece made from? If you guess trash, you're right. What kind of trash inspires you to make art? This owl was created by Kanoak Ashevak. She is an Inuit First Nations artist from Canada. Owls have inspired artists all over the world for thousands of years. They're going to inspire us to create today too. Okay, so today we are gonna be drawing an owl. So we want to find the middle of our paper and then go up a little ways, okay? And we're going to be making two big circles for our eyes because owls have big eyes. Now, once you have your eyes drawn, if you want your owl to be awake, make another circle inside of your big eyes. If you want your owls to be asleep, you are going to add a curved line. And I would like my owl to be asleep today. So I am adding in a curved line into my eyes. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my owl's beak. So I come between my two eyes and I make a small rainbow curved line. Now underneath this, I am going to make the letter V and these lines are going to be a diagonal coming down. So there is my V and lines that are angled like this are called a diagonal line and a curved line up above. We are now ready to make the head of our owl. So let's go first to the side of our owl and let's make one vertical line on one side and one vertical line on the other. We now want to go ahead and take and make a curved line between them, kind of like a curved rainbow line all the way across. Now let's make the bottom of the face of our owl. If we come to the beak, we want to drop down a little ways and make a dot. And now we're going to draw a diagonal line from our dot up to the side of our face. And we're going to make one diagonal line 
and two diagonal lines. I think our owl is ready for some ears. And our ears are kind of V-shaped as well, upside down Vs. You can make a little curve. And I put on one ear, and I put on two ears. I have a sleeping owl. It must be daytime. If you made your owl with eyes open, it must be nighttime, because remember, owls are nocturnal. We are ready now to put on some owl wings. So we're going to come over to one of our sides and we are going to make one curved line. We will come to our other side and make another curved line. And we are ready to finish our wings. So we'll come back to where we started and this time we are going to make our curved line going in the other direction. And we make one wing we make two wings. Now our owls are going to be sitting on a branch so let's first just draw a horizontal line from wing to wing. And then let's make a, that line make it into a diagonal going up on one side and a diagonal going down on the other. And now I can take and make a horizontal line that then curves up at the end. And now I have a branch for my owl to sit on. Now owls also have tails, so let's add on an owl tail. So let's go ahead and we're going to come to one side and drop one line down and we'll make it a diagonal line. It's kind of like if I came from my wing and I hopped down and I will make a diagonal line the other way. And now we're going to make a very special line. It is called a zigzag line. And we're going to go up, down, up, down, up, down. That is a zigzag line. Now let's finish our feathers with some vertical lines. We'll make one vertical line, another vertical line. You see how I go to the tops of the points and another vertical line. Oh, and what a lovely owl I am starting to have. Now here I can start to do a little bit of decorating. I might want to put in some curved lines around the eyes. But you might want to do something different. Maybe you want a zigzag line or just straight lines. But let's do a decoration around our eyes. So I am doing curved lines. They kind of remind me of flowers. I wonder what you're going to do. And I believe I want to put some spirals in my sky. Let me teach you how to make a spiral. So I can find any place I want and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the letter E. So I make an E and I know you have been practicing those with your teacher. And then I take after I make my E I wrap around my E and that will give me a spiral. And if you want to make it special you could add some little sparkles coming off the sides. And I'm going to make a few of them. I'm going to make some bigger and some littler. But I start with my letter E, and then I spiral around. And then if you want to make it special, you can make it special. These are kind of like stars. So you can take and add some spirals if you want to try adding some spirals in different spots, but you might want to add something different. We'll have to see what you make. I'm going to add a few more spirals here. Maybe one here too. I think I 
need another one right here. Wow, my owl is looking great. I think I'm ready to take some color into it. Now, you're gonna take in whatever kind of color your teacher is gonna guide you through. So you might use crayons, you might, might use markers, colored pencils, or paints. Hmm, I bet you it's gonna look great. I hope you enjoy drawing the owl. I'll see you later.